Did you guys see that interview that Charlemagne did with Kamala Harris? This dude, man, was just drinking the red Kool-Aid of lies. She was sitting there lying. I really don't see how you can sit there. You have you have the opportunity to question this woman, ask her anything, and you not only gave her easy questions. The only thing that really upset her was when he questioned her about who's the president. He kept talking about this dude, Senator Joe Manson. And she got mad when he asked her who's the president. And when she started shaking her fingers up in the camera and telling him this, he backed off her. And then you had a loud mouth black female in the background. This is the vice president. You had a loud mouth black female in the background that kept interrupting. That was a ghetto interview. Now, he asked her the question, why did she disappear after they voted for her and Biden? These are her excuses. She's been working on maternal health. And she mentioned a few things about women and what they go through. But what she didn't mention was abortion, because that's what's been in the media, abortions. When they say maternal health, they're talking about abortions. They may mention a lot of other things to put a smoke screen out there, but they're mentioning, they're talking about abortions. Another thing she talked about were lead pipes. People, black people drinking water, poison water because of lead pipes. She's doing it for black people. Black folk need to access to capital. Then she talked about small businesses, right? Not black people. Small black businesses need capital. Did any of y'all that's got businesses receive any of that capital that you didn't have to pay back? Then she talked about, let's see, I got it written down right here. Then she talked about public transportation. Black folk need public transportation. They need to catch the bus to go to work. She talked about black people. So things that have already been set in stone black people listen black people stand on that corner waiting for the bus all the time they've always waited for the bus they took the bus to work i see it every single morning black females with their their nurses a uniform standing on the bus corner waiting on the bus kamala harris didn't do that right but she's got you guys fooled what else did she mention besides Black folks riding the bus to work. See, she got you out of the back of the bus. Now you get to ride the front of the bus to go to work. He kept talking about Senator Joe Manson. What I find interesting is they have the Senate. They have Congress. They have the White House. They're in control of everything, the Democrats. And they still blame the Republicans for not getting things done. And Charlemagne is sitting here talking about, I agree, I agree, I agree. The public Republicans, I, I agree. They stopping the progress, the Republicans. But who's in control? Who's control? And not only that, who have they been working for the most since they've been in office? Illegal immigrants. The borders are wide open. And they've been taking our tax dollars, putting it towards these illegal immigrants. And you got Americans that's being mainly black folk being kicked out of their house, being evicted. And you have Americans that was on the front line since the beginning of this pandemic, now losing their job because they refused to jab. So this was a waste of time. I don't even know why Charlemagne had this interview because he really didn't ask any real hard questions. He didn't ask her, let me ask you a question. 
why didn't Joe Biden sign a protection law for black people? He did it for the Asians. Hate crimes against Asians. You go to jail for that. But black people, police still kill black people, still violate black people's rights. And you have a black vice president. See, this should be a lesson to black people, right? Just because you have somebody in the position of authority that look like you don't mean that they are for you. Doesn't mean that they're in your corner, right? And they're going to make things right or comfortable for you. See, every black person that's in a political position that's supposed to be working for black folk are working against black people. It had not helped advance black people in no way, shape, or form. Everything Kamala Harris talked about was benefiting everyone. Now, when she talked about that voting right, that, that voting, saying that uh, black people don't have the right to vote, how many of you black people out there can't vote? What they're talking about is getting the rights for illegal immigrants to vote. Now, they may name Puerto Ricans and Mexicans or black, brown, yellow, whatever they say. But in reality, they're talking about illegal immigrants. Those are the ones that they want to vote. Non-citizens. They're not talking about you, black people. They will use you as a prop. The Democrats use black people as a crop to get their agenda passed. And black people will support them because you think that they're trying to help you. And in reality, they're trying to erase you. Because once they get these illegal immigrants to vote for them, they don't need your votes anymore. They saw what happened during the presidential run with Trump and saw how many black people supported Trump. They read the handwritings on the wall. They know that black people are starting to slowly leave the Democrat party or plantation. So now they need some other suckers to vote for them. So now they're looking at these illegal immigrants. That's why they're flying illegal immigrants into a town, into the ghettos near you and have more rights than you. That's using up your tax dollars for breaking the law. You break the law, you go to prison. You're punished for that. See, so when they talk about this voting right, what American would not want a voter ID? See, the voter ID, that's just saying that they're able to um, identify you because the Democrats had dead people voting. They had illegal immigrants voting. They had people crossing uh, state lines to vote twice. That's what the Democrats are doing. They don't want that to stop. That's why she mentioned Georgia and Texas. See, but it, it's got nothing to do with black people. They use black people as a prop, but it's not for black people. So don't be deceived. Now, they didn't talk about Biden signing anything, no type of protection for black people. And he definitely didn't mention or question about that one hundred or uh, four hundred and fifty thousand dollars that you're trying to give to illegal immigrants that cross the border. But when you mention reparations. Now, nah, we we here for everybody. We want to take care of everybody, not just black people. But yet they have nothing tangible for the so-called black Americans, for black Americans alone, but yet Asians got tangible goods, the Jew, so-called Jews, right? The gays, the women, right? They got tangible things. But when it comes to black people as a whole, oh, we got to include that. We, we're including everybody. We take care of everybody, right? But Charlemagne should have mentioned, if anything, you should have mentioned about that $450,000, that half a million that they want to give to each illegal immigrant that crossed over that border. And black people didn't get nothing, barely getting $1,400. And guess what? We have to pay that back. Look at, we're paying it back already. 
with these high prices in the grocery store. Listen, for Thanksgiving, they had turkeys for a hundred dollars. I went inside Wegmans, there was a turkey in there for like eighty-nine dollars, ninety some odd dollars, over a hundred dollars for a turkey. Look what we pay for gas. That's them getting that fourteen hundred dollars back. That's what that is. See, they may say, oh, we're not going to go up on your taxes. No, you just go up on everything you got to eat. Toilet paper, everything that you need, they're going up on it. When you go in the supermarket now, a lot of shelves are empty because people are, are trying to stock up. Pay, paying expensive prices. So Charlemagne was drinking the Kool-Aid. He drank the Kool-Aid. He didn't ask the right questions. He didn't ask about that $450,000. He didn't ask about uh, voting rights or, or better yet, protection for black people. Now, they mentioned about the police. They talked about um, uh, 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 taking care of the cops. But look what happened when they started talking about defunding the police. Look at the crime. They're committing crime and brought up in daylight with mask on. Because now it's illegal to walk inside a bank with a mask on. So now they're committing crimes and robberies, coming inside people's house and robbing people in broad open daylight with a mask on. And they can't identify them. I listened to the police scanner. Oh, a robbery just occurred. Um, he, had a, he had a mask on, uh, black hoodie, you know, uh, black pants, but they can't identify him because they're wearing a mask. Right? But see, that's what you guys voted for. So there's no need to complain, especially if you guys are still supporting Biden. There are black people that are still saying that Biden is doing a good job. And you know he's not doing a good job. You're doing a whole lot worse than ever. I'll be 61 years old, December 28th, and I've never seen things like they are now. I've never seen it before. This is, this is new. You know when it says there's nothing new under the sun? This is new. This is new. The way I've never seen it this bad here in America. And everything has gone haywire, man. And you guys support that. You guys support the devil, man, incarnate. You support the devil in flesh. And you say he's doing a good job. How can you not see what's happening to you? so-called black people, and you still vote Democrat. You still supporting Kamala Harris. Just because a black person is a political figure or in position of power, don't mean they're for you. Think of the number of cops that are black that would beat your, your sons behind. And he would abuse his authority because he can. See, so you guys got to get out of that Black people you ain't doing them for black people because you turn you're voting the same people in the office that's keeping you in captive. See, so feedback, tell me what you think. That was a waste of time. That whole interview was a waste of time. Charlemagne drank the lies and the Kool-Aid, the red lie Kool-Aid. He drank it. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless. <laughs>